Now through ah, in this box are bombs. So, if you happen to be very wanton with your bombs, you like to place them everywhere, throw them. You'll get bombs. It's a nice little present for you if you come in here and find out you're not full of bombs. What is this? It's big. It's huge. It's monstrous. It's... 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 Come on, hurry up. King the Dango! Infernal Dinosaur. His attack, he will suck in a lot of air, and then blast out a fireball. And I believe it actually turns corners, so you want to avoid it by ducking, getting as close to the lava pit as possible without actually going in it. And then when he does that, just grab a bomb, toss it in his mouth. Oh crap, I missed! How did I miss? Yes, you can use your uh, bomb bag. But I find it... I'm a conservative sort of guy. I don't like using... I don't like using items needlessly. As Del notices. Toss him in his mouth, pull out your sword, jump attack him, and then run for it. He's gonna roll! He's gonna roll! And he, he does do that. He'll come at you. He grabs his bomb. You run the wheel with it. He opens his mouth. Dinner time! Watch your sword. Jump! One last time. You'll run around. You'll wait. You'll just dodge him easily by get, getting close to the lava pit. Grabs his bomb. You'll run with it. Give him his dinner. Watch your sword. And one last jump strike. Boom! Yeah! And now he'll just ro uh, roll around crazily until. He rolls into the lava pit. You shouldn't roll and... You shouldn't drink and roll. See what happens when you drink while you're rolling? Yay! We killed him! He is now stoned! And the lava pit has cooled over. I don't know how that happened. Anyways, let's grab this heart. Yay! Now, if you happen to, like, forget and just go in there without getting the heart, you can come back and get it. It's just going to be a lot of backtracking. Obviously. Now, let's go in here. Let's go inside. Let's go show our heroics off. Mmm. Spaghetti and Alfredo. Mmm. Yum. Ah! He almost crushed us there. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Man, Darunia, quit touching me. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Hoya! He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Yeah, I don't want to cut my wrist and wrap it around his. That's painful. Just take this as a token of our friendship. You know, I don't do, do Daruni a justice. I'm sure his voice is actually deeper, more masculine. Oh. I'm doing the best I can. Which is pretty pathetic. Obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers. But you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Oh, 
Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody. Let's see if our brother... Oh, no, not more Gorons. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> That's funny. Uh... No! They're gonna crush me with their love. Alright, now that that episode is over, let's come up here. Let's go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain! So, we blow up this rock. We blow up that rock. We jump out of the way before it blows. We pick up this uh, five rupee. This blue rupee. And I believe that rock has a red rupee in it. I'm gonna hold still and tell blue to throw. No. Ow! Oh man. You hold it. Wait for it to do that. Toss it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes, a red rupee. Hurrah! I filled up my rupee bag. Now, down here, you can hear a cow mooing. If you go down there and you speak to the cow, as in, if you play Epona's song, she'll give out milk for you. Oh, this is why you want the Helion Shield. It'll protect you against. Ow! Yeah, you can hold still for a while until the until there's a break between explosions. And just roll forward, hold, hurry, 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 go, 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 go. If you're speed running this, or if you're just too impatient to wait, you can roll forward as soon as it stops. Do that. Roll forward. Do that. Roll forward. Do that. Oh, run, run, run. Hey, it's still shaking though. What the heck? Okay. I don't know why it stopped shaking once you reach this point. Maybe there's maybe what it is, it's a, a defense mechanism. And once you get past it, it's off. It's like, oh crap, he got through. Notify the sculptures! Send out the sentry sculptures! And I kill the sentry sculptures. <laughs> so I can sneak past them. Climb up this wall. <sighs> <sighs> Tiresome. Ooh. Now we meet Mr. Owl again. <coughs> You've done well to come all the way up here, Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using my brothers. This is the summit of the sacred death mountain, Hoot. It is said that the clouds surrounding this peak reflect the condition of the death mountain. When they look normal, it is at peace. And what if they don't look normal? I mean, what they, it would look like if they're not normal. Climbing all the way up here just proves how smart you are. And I want to see you make another smart move. The great fairy lives on this mountaintop. And she will give you a new skill. She is the leader of the fairies, you know. Whew. I will perch here and wait for you. When you're ready to go back down, I can help you. Now keep going. Now, this is not where the great fairy lives. This is actually the entryway to the volcano. And the reason you don't want to go into the volcano, you'll just have to wait and see. Joseph, it's so hot in here. We can't stay here for long. That's right. If you stay in here too long, you will die. The heat in here is too much for you. You have to leave. No, where this great fairy is, is in here. The reason I say that is because I spent forever looking at, for that great fairy, and I died a lot. I finally figured out that it was right here. What a pain that was. Alright, the great fairy fountain, we found it! What is this? The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. And we all know what that means. You get to play Zelda's Lullaby! She must be beautiful. She must be pretty. She must be- Oh, what is that? 
That is the great fairy. But she, but they said she was beautiful. Welcome, Joseph. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. She's a bossy one. Receive it now. I feel dizzy. What's happening to me? My health goes up. You mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack! Yeah! Hold B to charge a weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate that once and press B for a very effective quick spin. I shall demonstrate that. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine, who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. And not any sooner. Not any sooner. Now that we've done... Oh, I was going to demonstrate what happened, wasn't I? Okay, quick spin is like that. You rotate your control stick once and do that. It's kind of hard to do, actually. But the other way, the easier way, but the longer way, is to hold down the B button until it glows like that. Release it. Voila. You have mastered the spin attack. Now let's talk to the owl. He said he'd give us a lift once we were done. Woohoo! Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. Yeah. That's fine and dandy. We're supposed... You, you're you mean. If you're going to back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons. And hold on tight. Woohoo! Well, I should... If only he could do that with his prey. Just grab my talons and hold on tight. It'd be easy meal for him. Flying free! There's the clouds above Dead Mountain that Gavel spoke of. The normal looking ones. I wonder what the not normal looking ones look like. And he dropped us on top of a rooftop. We're going to have to jump down. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. Roll forward, and we are fine and dandy. And now that we've done all that and got it on tape, I hope. Let us quit for now. Alright, we'll see ya.